Hey guys, it's phase one. Today I'd like to go over the top three most interesting features in the upcoming Star Citizen 3.11. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more Star Citizen content such as this. And without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for the first most exciting feature I'd like to go over is the missile operator mode. Right, in this card here you can see that it says missiles will now be controlled under a dedicated missile operator mode. Which gives player the option to select fire specific missiles while operating in a ship such as the Vanguard which allows for different types of missile and torpedoes. So this is really interesting. The fact that you can now select um, the different missiles that you have, right? Um, right now, what we currently have in place is your missiles are selected in. Uh, I think it's it's in a specific order. So however you attach it, or depending on where it's attached on your ship, that's how you're able to launch each missile. So though I have to go in that sequence. Um, so with this new feature you can literally select which one you want to launch and the fact that you'll need somebody to operate that Hopefully the pilot will also have the option to operate operate this um, This operate in this mode But um, it's, it's very interesting. So what what this will ultimately allow is it'll, it'll open up more opportunities for multiple crew gameplay it gives it gives somebody else um something to do within the ship and, and then that makes things just more much much more interesting and fun I, I i feel and this also gives us an opportunity to see some new ui that they're planning to implement into the game so i'm interested to see the ui that they, they they're giving us with, with this this feature set right here all right so the second thing that i wanted to cover is which i find is most interesting is the mercury star runner now this is a ship right so it says building and implementing and balancing the mercury star runner as a flight ready ship so now let me tell you why i'm mentioning this ship right here why it's one of the most interesting features is in every patch that i've noticed so far cig always sneaks in a hidden feature or a secret feature for example, in 3.10, it was the Grey Cat ROC, and it came with that. It came with the medium um, crystallized rocks mining feature set, and it came with that. And that was secret; only Vukadi had access to that feature, right? So I think with the uh, Mercury Star Runner, there's an opportunity where CIG may give us a um, a surprise feature when it comes to um, either scanning or discovery or something something in that area where we will probably get some UI um, which will allow us to scan things down and things like that I'm not saying it's gonna be a complete feature set but I feel that they may sneak in something that comes along with the Mercury Star Runner because this is a very interesting ship that a lot of people is um, looking forward to so this is a good opportunity for them to sneak in some gameplay with it which will even um cause people to even want the ship more so which will always ultimately result in more sales of that ship so i think i, I think this is very interesting so now the the third most interesting the most interesting feature set in star citizen 3.11 is the cargo decks the space station cargo decks right so it says cargo deck facilities with within rest stops where players can handle their cargo needs from dropping off and picking up and buying new cargo equipment and taking on cargo related missions so now i'm speculating here but when they're talking about cargo missions i think this will be the first implement implementation of actual cargo missions right think about it in the game elite dangerous i know some of you guys have played it or have seen people play it in elite dangerous the the way cargo works is 
you have to have a ship that can take the cargo that you're picking up right you have to make sure that when you're accepting a cargo mission you have enough ca cargo capacity on your selected ship or the ship that you're currently sitting in before you can actually accept the cargo the cargo mission so i think cig may give us the first implementation of this with this i'm speculating but i think with this with this cargo decks i think we may have an opportunity to see one of the early versions of the 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 cargo uh gameplay that they're planning to implement so i think they may sneak this in i'm actually very excited for it and um and they also mentioned earlier too that um before when when um loading and unloading there will be a timer associated to it which is um which is realistic so it takes time to load things into your ship and unload as well so it gives you an opportunity to to walk around the cargo deck and 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 shop and and maybe run into somebody conversate and then things like that so it's going to be very 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 interesting it's going to be very very interesting and uh one of the last things that i i think um would be interesting is that these cargo missions will be paying out a lot more than the delivery the box delivery missions that we currently have so i think it's an also an opportunity where we'll we'll be able to make a lot more money in the game so i think it's very interesting all right so i think that's the most interesting piece coming into this patch if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already if you liked anything in this video make sure to leave me a like as well comment below what's what's the most interesting uh feature you're looking forward to in star citizen 3.11 let me know down below i will see you on the next one